I want to show you how to design this in Pizzle Lab. So without further ado, let's jump into it straight forward. So the first thing that we have to do is to start from a default background like this. And of course, we have to delete this text over here. Then after this, we have to set our background like the image size. So the image size I'm going to use for this tutorial is going to be the YouTube thumbnail, right? So I'm going to tap on image size. And from image size, I can go ahead and tap on the drop down arrow over here. Then from here, I'll see options over here. Then I'll select YouTube thumbnail. Then I'll tap on OK. So after setting our background size or the image size, what we have to do next is to set the background color. But before we set the background color, I would like to import the picture that we're going to use for this design. I would like to import it first so that we can pick the color from the image directly so i'll tap on import and look through my gallery pick it up quickly tap on a check mark here then i'm going to have my subject here now i have to reduce the size of it a little bit so that it fits perfectly onto exactly what we want to do okay so i think this should be okay now or uh, let's quickly lock it over here then after this we tap on this over here then we head over straight to color at this point we are coming to set the background color so we tap on color tap on a plus sign over here then we tap on this icon over here this will lead us to pick a color from this particular image so let's tap on an image quickly then we can now use this slider to select the color that we want so i would like to go with a greenish uh, part of the shoe so let's see i think this is okay right so i'll tap on a check mark and tap on okay so this is what we will be having as our background color but i think i just i'll just add some little bit effect to it and see how it's going to look so let's quickly come back to this shoe again and pick a color that is kind of cool i think this should be fine let's see how it's going to look yeah perfect this is pretty much cool for us right so after this, what we're going to do is to tap on the hexagonal tool and select the Bezier tool over here, right? So after selecting the Bezier tool, we are now going to manipulate everything over here to get some specific shape, right, through the Bezier tool. So quickly, let's start operating with the Bezier tool. Now, if you don't know how to use the Bezier tool, I've made a tutorial on that, part one tutorial on that. Uh, probably showing up on your screen right now you can go and watch that one and come back and let's continue this tutorial okay so what i'm going to do is to add another anchor point to reach over here and continue with the manipulation so i get a perfect shape okay your shape might vary from what i want but at the end we want a shape that can actually depict exactly what uh, we want to put across okay so i'm just playing around this for now and see how it's going to look so i'm going to add another anchor point again and let's see how we can do this I think I'm pretty much uh, getting what I want. So let's see. Let's see how it's going to go. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is to add another anchor point over here. Then I'll tap on the merging icon and increase the opacity. After increasing the opacity, I'll go down and reduce the stroke to zero. Then at this point, I can just tap on a check mark and I'll have my shape over here like this. Okay. So I can actually increase the size of the shape a little bit, then push it up like this. After that, I'll push it to the back of the shoe. So I'll tap onto back and this is how it's going to be over here, right? So I'm going to lock it and I'll select the shoe and probably rotate the shoe a little bit. So I'll select the rotate tool over here and use it for the shoe like this, okay? And I think this should be okay. 
so i can now go ahead and lock the shoe layer like this so at this point we are pretty much done the only thing that we are actually left with is the test that we need to enter so we'll enter test like nike we'll enter nike and other tests over here so i'll just type nike quickly make it capitalize and select my favorite font which is the good boot boot so i'm going to pick up that font over here quickly and increase the size of the test so something like this something like this is not bad okay i'm just increasing it a little bit bigger so i'll put it here then i'll have to send it to the back so i'll tap on to back like this and after that i'll make a duplicate of it then for the duplicates you know make it transparent like this okay and tap on a check mark after that we head over straight to stroke add a stroke to it a white stroke for that matter and we give it the stroke size of one so this is how it's going to be we just have to put the stroke test and the main test together so that it fits or it blends perfectly so let's just adjust it quickly and see how it's going to be perfect this is this is what we're going to have right now over here okay this is what we'll be having right now so the next thing that we have to do is to enter the other uh, the remaining tests like quality sneakers and stuff so i'm going to use the same font so i'll just type quality sneakers so I'll tap on done then make it capitalize then select the same font again probably this time around i will reduce the size of it a little bit and bring it down here now i want to use some kind of alignment so i'll have to bring in my grid tool and use it in this case so i think this should be fine for me good so i'll bring the test over here let me use the position tool to actually position it nicely over there good i think this is perfect so i'll make a duplicate of it then type sneakers make it capitalized and bring it down here so at this point i may decide to reduce the size of the sneakers so that it can just be under the quality okay so let's just position it as well we need some form of alignment over here that's why we are using the grid to kindly take note of that okay awesome so we are pretty much you know done over here we have to actually impose some shape so i'll tap on a hexagonal to tap on shape then increase the size of this a little bit bring it down here tap on a check mark then select it again then push it up like this okay we are pushing it up like that because we want the 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 thickness of the shape to be very very kind of thin right we want it to be very thin so right now let's use the position tool to bring it down uh like this okay so i think this is okay and i'm going to make a duplicate of it then bring it down again like this okay added down here we're going to enter some tests that uh we'll be using as in a form of advertisement and stuff like that okay so i think let's just work on this perfectly before we move on so yeah now we can go ahead and enter the test like uh, the first test i'm going to enter is buy one and get a free drink okay so it's literally just any test that i'm entering over here buy one and get up get a free drink okay so i'm not going to change the font over here i'm just going to reduce the size of the font and after reducing the size of the font i will have to equally reduce the size order the length of the the shape we entered so i'm going to select the shape quickly after selecting it i'll go to relative size and enable the maintain ratio then i'll reduce the width just as you can see 
right now okay i think i need to reduce it a little bit further quickly so that we get a perfect work done over here i think this should be fine good so right now i just have to position the test to be beneath it nicely i think that should be fine with us okay so the next test that i'm going to enter is quality is the only thing we know so i'm going to make a duplicate of this tap on edit and enter the test quality is the only thing we know we know here okay i think this is pretty much cool so i can just put it here and of course let's bring back our grid tool to help us with the alignment over here awesome this is perfect this is perfect so what we have to do now is to select the test or i mean the shape that we've entered and also work on it using the relative size tool so you're going to reduce the the width again and make sure it is well positioned so let's do that quickly over here i think we need to actually increase the width a little bit again and i think this should be fine well just a little bit increment is needed again so i'm going to position it properly like this and i think this is okay for us so we left with another two things to do so we're going to make a duplicate of this particular shape again make a duplicate of this shape then we push it to the top like this and of course we have to use a grid tool over here as well because we'll have to position it neatly at the top so at this point we can go ahead and enter the other test that we want to enter so uh the test that we use over there is something like you don't have to worry again you don't have to worry again you don't have to worry again cool so um quickly let's adjust it like this and of course we use the grid tool for our alignment okay i think we are good to go now perfect perfect so what we have to do is to reduce the width of the shape under the tail so we're gonna do that quickly like this and i think this should be fine good it is pretty much fine now the last thing that we have to do is to add this instagram like icon to it so uh let me go to import quickly and bring it on good i have it right here and i'm going to tap tap on a check mark then i'll reduce the size of it a little bit like this i think this should be perfect now i'll tap on a check mark go to the color filter and increase the hue saturation to 118 and increase the saturation the main saturation to let's say 18 there about and see how it's going to look okay good so, so this is what we'll be using over here we just have to actually you know reduce the size a little bit okay then we we'll reduce the opacity also a little bit then we we'll use the move tool to position it nicely over here At this point we need to add some shadow effect to it so we tap on the stickers icon then we'll have this uh by default after that we tap an empty area in a working space then we tap on this sticker again after that we head over straight to the color button and we give it black color now we have to reduce the size of this to make it a perfect shadow okay and after putting it beneath the icon we also have to go ahead and reduce the opacity of it as well so quickly let's do all this thing and see how our design is going to look like so 
so uh, it's time to reduce the opacity quickly good I think we are on point now now we can tap on this shape make a copy of it and at this time we are going to tap on reselect okay once we tap on reselect we are going to select the same shape again uh, and use it the reason why we are doing that is because we don't want the quality of it to kind of distort so we want the quality to be maintained however we have to increase the opacity at this time and reduce the size just a little bit not that much but just a little bit okay let's say something like this is not bad then we put it down here so pretty much this is the design we are to uh, make so i think you've actually learned something out of this tutorial and if you do do not forget to hit that like button and also subscribe to this channel and of course don't forget to turn on notifications so that you get to receive updates on each video i post on this channel right so this goes here and i hope to see you in my next video bless up